Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. We have more crazy breaking news in the land of the mad. Twelve dead in San Bernardino, California. Shooting by three men unidentified. Twenty hostages freed. Gunmen in standoff with SWAT teams. As many as twelve people killed in what police are calling an active shooter situation in San Bernardino, California, where the brave men in the SWAT team are now after as many as three suspects in a standoff. Now, the question that all of you are asking is, where did it happen, who did it, and what is this about? We don't have all the information for you on the Savage Nation. We have some of it. We don't know who did the shooting. We know where the shooting took place. Crazily enough, it was inside the Inland Regional Center. Now, what is the Inland Regional Center? Why would anyone go in there with guns and start killing people? We don't know. What does the e Inland Regional Center do? Well, apparently uh, their Facebook page says they serve individuals with developmental disabilities in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. That doesn't tell us anything. Who in the world would go in there and start shooting people? You could say if it, one person did it, you could say it's a madman, like with the, uh, the the Planned Parenthood thing, right? One crazy individual. But now they're pursuing three? This seems like an organized assault on a center that treats people with developmental disabilities. This is getting crazier by the minute. In any case, they say there's at least 12 people dead, which means that they were using automatic weapons, which also means that this is going to get bigger and the death count will grow. There's no editorializing permitted right now because nobody can say anything about it. What can you say about this that hasn't been said? Who are you going to blame for this? I don't have any answers for this question. We'll keep looking at the story as it develops. I'm sure those of you who are near televisions or on the Internet are also watching this story as it unfolds, as we are. I will put this out, though, to my vast audience across America. If you live in the San Bernardino area, and you have any credible information about this horrible, tragic situation, I invite you to call the program to Educate America by dialing 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Please do not call the show with any editorials about this tragedy because nobody knows any more uh, than the rest of us. At this time, nobody knows more about it than I do or you do. Perhaps the SWAT team does, but they're certainly busy protecting the rest of the people and themselves. Now on to other crazy stories. Trump 100% vindicated. CBS reported a swarm on the rooftop celebrating 9-11. This was corroborated today on Breitbart by John Nolte. They uh, went back to early tapes. And here is what they found in the New York Post right after 9-11 when the Muslims from Saudi Arabia crashed the World Trade Centers, this was reported, quote, Here in New York, it was easy to get angry listening to Egyptians, Palestinians, and the Arabs of nearby Patterson, New Jersey, celebrate as they received word of the murderous attack in New York and Washington. But Mayor Giuliani, who has been tireless and magnificent in this crisis, rightly warned New Yorkers that it would be wrong to take their anger out on the city's Arab and Muslim residents. Attacks on Arab Americans in Patterson or elsewhere are utterly indefensible. There are many other radio reports about Muslims celebrating the 9-11 attacks. MTV ran a news report about Muslim celebrations. This proves that Donald Trump is 100% vindicated. 100% vindicated. And the rats in the media who have spent the last number of weeks attempting to destroy our good friend Donald Trump using what they use best, which is smears and lies, have now been proven to be what they have always been, exactly what we've said that they were. Other stories, and we'll keep looking at the San Bernardino story as these other stories are talked about. One, are you worried that Obama's hatred of Putin will lead us into World War Three? 
I am. I am very worried that it will lead us into World War III. This is how wars start. They're not always planned, by the way. I've studied World War I for a very long period of time, and I've called it the accidental war, because none of the nations who engaged in World War I thought it would lead to a world war. It was one chess piece falling after another. I should say almost like dominoes. Here's a story I put up on my Facebook page last night. From all, of all places, the Washington Post, an establishment liberal newspaper, published this amazing story. Iraqis think the U.S. is in cahoots with the Islamic State, and it is hurting the war. Iraqis think the United States is in cahoots with ISIL or ISIS, and it's hurting the war. My headline was, who first told you this? Who first told you this? Many of you know it was I. It was I six months ago when I saw lines and columns of ISIS trucks celebrating in the open, on a highway, going into Mosul after they took the city. And our Air Force did not fire a single shot at that convoy of trucks. That's when I saw that the cat was out of the bag. That's when it dawned on me that the United States and ISIS are one and the same. I know this is tough medicine to swallow, but maybe one day you'll, you'll be able to swallow the medicine of the truth, which is the most caustic medicine there is. But as every patient knows, sometimes it takes caustic medicine to cure you. Maybe one day you'll wake up to realize that the charlatan in the White House is the most dangerous, deceitful man in American history, and he's not finished yet. He's only warming up. He's getting ready for the final assault when he brings in those Syrian refugees, amongst whom, like Trojan horse, it's like the Trojan horse itself, as sure as I'm standing here, as positive as I'm standing here, simply by the law of statistics, there will be terrorists amongst them, as sure as I'm sitting here. 855-407-282 is our phone number. Next topic. Next topic is this. Election overkill. I will not talk about it. I can't take looking at the news anymore. I'm turning the television off the minute I turn it on. Two months away from the first official caucuses and primaries, I am suffering from election overkill. I will not talk about Trump and Rubio and Cruz and Hillary anymore. I'm sick of it. I am just sick of it, and I'm not going to talk about this subject anymore. ISIS starts building an air force in Libya. Islamic State terrorists in the port city of Sirte, located in northern Libya, are learning to fly planes using at least one flight simulator, according to military officials, in this North African state. The sources were quoted by the London-based Arabic, um, I can't even read it, saying that they aren't sure how a civilian plane simulator got in their hands as well as a fighter jet. They don't know how the jihadists got both items. How will this affect the roles of all the players in the theater now? Will this expand if ISIS has air power? Next story. Media minimize Mexico's role in the spread of debilitating virus hitting the United States. Pay attention. Michael Savage told you 21 years ago when I started in radio, the number one problem about immigration was immigrants and epidemics. I told you that story. I was reviled as a result of it. I was castigated as a result of it. Well, it's coming home to roost. Reported by Aaron Klein on Breitbart. Lost in much of the media coverage of new domestic cases of chikungunya. I can't even pronounce it. I, don't, I can't even pronounce this disease. And I, I'm an epidemiologist. I wish I knew the, the, the actual name of it. We know it's a mosquito-borne virus. We know that it's endemic in Mexico. We know that Mexico has an alarming rise in this type of infection. We also know that they're pouring over our border, immigrants and epidemics. In May, the Centers for Disease Control, so-called, added Mexico to the watch level number one category for this disease. Last week, the CDC updated their level one warning, advising travelers to Mexico to, quote, protect themselves from this disease by preventing mosquito bites. I would say preventing yourself from exposure to illegal aliens would make as much sense as preventing exposure to mosquito bites. If we had a sane nation, this never would have been imported into this country. Next topic, China's cloning crusade. Technology for human replication is already there. This is perhaps the most alarming story of my entire life. It's every nightmarish science fiction story come, come to, uh, to, to reality. The CEO and lead scientist of the world's largest cloning factory, 
says that they now have technology capable of replicating human beings. The technology is already there, said Zhu Zikon, the 44-year-old chairman of the Boya Life Group, which is building the $31 million cloning factory. If this is allowed, I don't think there are other companies better than Boya Life that make better technology, he said. The company intends to begin cloning people in the first half of 2016 in Tianjin. That's unbelievable. Though the principal goal of the 150,000 square foot facility will be cloning cattle, company executives are not closing the door to other species, including humans. Let us pray that Barack Obama does not hear this story. This is the Savage Nation, reading you the headlines, going back to the main story, opening up for the phone calls at uh, 855-407-282. There's no new information on that horrible shooting situation in San Bernardino that you already don't know if you're near a television or on the Internet. Active shooter situation, at least 20 victims. 20 victims. Who did this? Mass shooting reported in San Bernardino, California. Stay tuned to the Savage Nation, and we'll give you all the information on this horrible situation as it emerges. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O. situation three heavily armed suspects have escaped the latest report is that three men burst into this center for developmentally disabled individuals in Riverside and San Bernardino counties the inland regional center they opened up with heavy weapons they killed at least 20 people and they fled the scene in a black SUV the story sounds crazy to me I have no way to put my mind around what this is about <clears throat> but I think all of you can rest easily because we have just been told that President Obama has been briefed about the shooting. So you, sh you should rest much more easily now, because the greatest man in the history of the world has been told about it. Meanwhile, a bomb squad is on the scene, because a suspicious explosive device was left behind by these three men. I cannot put my... I'm not going to speculate about it. I'm just going to go on with the news stories that I had prepared for the program today and ask you some questions about that and continue to update on this shooting situation in Southern California. Now, one of the stories I mentioned was the cloning of humans, which to me is very alarming. China's cloning crusade, technology for human replication, is already there. I'll ask a simple question. Would you be cloned? If you could, would you clone yourself? I want you to think very carefully about that. Many of you would clone your favorite dog, for example, or cat. I've thought about it. Would I clone Teddy? I said, I don't know. I mean, do you really want a copy of a dog that you love? I mean, is that really the same thing as the dog that you love? Why not just buy another toy poodle that looks like him? You see, a purebred dog is pretty much like every other purebred dog. In many ways, of course, then they have their own individual characteristics. So why would I want a clone of my own dog, I ask myself, when there are so many wonderful animals out there and I wouldn't do it, or a dog in a, in a, in a cage that's about to be euthanized. Why not take one of those? But now when it comes to humans, it's another, a wholly different question. Would you clone your father if he's near death? How's that for a gut-wrenching question? Uh, would you clone yourself, your mother? I mean, what, this is crazy, isn't it? Would you clone yourself? I think it's a, a rational question. Here's another story that will tell you finally who CARE is. The Council on Asla uh, um, American Islamic Relations. You're not going to believe this story. Judge throws out lawsuit filed by those who found the World War I Memorial Cross offensive. I'm not making this up. It came to us from the Daily Signal by Hans von Spakovsky. In a decision that preserves the thanks of a nation for the sacrifice of Americans who died in World War I, Maryland Federal Judge Deborah Chasenow, a liberal Clinton appointee, threw out a lawsuit filed by the American Humanist Association about a 40-foot-tall war memorial that is 